Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody is having a great Wednesday. Well, we're halfway through the week and as you can see, we have a package and I don't know why it says Rosemead, California on it because it was shipped from China. I got this from AliExpress and I believe I got it from the Matryoshka Lovely store. So let's see what is in the package. It took long enough to get here, about three weeks from China. Hopefully it's what I think it is. Well, they got it well packaged. I'll give it that much. Got a long way to come. Oh, goodness. Let me see if I can just pull them out. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Hang on. There'll be a delay. God. Hang on. There's more padding inside. And I haven't bought one of these in a very long time. So we'll just see how they do. Let me get rid of all the crunchy noise. Comes in a nice pouch. And it's kind of a plastic material. It says nine count. So I know it's the right thing. And this is the first one. Looking for a creative embroidered a beauty. Enjoy embroidered a beauty looking for a creative embroidered a beauty enjoy a life typical yeah. okay so it is 38 by 38 centimeters let's more these are nice little pouches usually I mean there's nothing wrong with it keeps everything protected it's beaded embroidery, if you hadn't guessed. Ouch. Sharp scissors. All right, let's see if we can pull this mess out. Whoops. Okay. Oh, probably need the canvas. That would be the best part. So, pouch is empty. Let me just lay it on the floor. Well, I'll lay it over here because I'm going to have to show you the picture. Comes with a roll of thread. Now this thread is not too bad. I use it doubled. Um, I've had some and it comes wrapped on a little bobbin, like it's been bobbinated, if you will. And it's not real good. <coughs> Gold Three Fishes brand. So, and it's like a cottony stuff. It's the, okay. Sometimes when you order beaded embroidery, um, it comes. With this stuff like fishing line, it's horrible. So, we're going to see what this is like. I don't know. And it has a nice clear, um, I can see it. Um, what do you call it? Key here. There's 14 different colored beads. Looks real easy to do. Beautiful. Beautiful, nice, clear, small, and this little thing is about 11 and almost 11 and a half. The picture, and that would be about a little over 28. Nope, it's 29 centimeters across. And, oop, if I can just get it. 29 by about 27 and a half centimeters. 27 and a half. So about 10 by 10 by 11. It's not squared. It's just a little bit big. And you do all of the um, the beading. This is all beaded. So it's a solid full coverage bead. Let's see what pretty colors we have. Oh, we have 310 black. Now it does not here give a um, it doesn't give any kind of a 
DMC equivalent for these at all. But we know it's probably 310. Come on. We live the 310 life around here. But they're all baggaged in a, a pouch. Comes with two needles up here. And these have great big ends to them. Hang on if we can get this open. Good gravy. Well, it'll be a hot moment. Well, for pity's sake. Okay, when in doubt, we won't. I have Ziploc bags. Okay, so number 14 is all black because the picture is all black here. So that's probably 310. And number one is kind of a, eh, it's like a black brown, if you will. There's not too many of those. Number two, isn't that pretty blue? Mm -mm 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 -mm. And we have some pink. Pinks are for the flowers. And it has, it comes with a single sheet uh, pattern thing that you can match up there if you want to. Otherwise, the colors, they're just solid colors on your canvas. So you don't have to look for, um, you know, different kinds of symbols and stuff like that. Let's just dump this out of that bag. Let me move this over here now. Well, 11 and 12 look pretty much the same, but I guess it's a different color. We have some more dark blues and some green. Oop, we had an escapee. So you can see how big the beads are. Let me see if I can bring it down. But you can see how big that hole is. You know, it's way bigger than a sea bead, bead is. Yeah. Ooh, and a pretty copper color. And then we have this, yeah, it's like a dark pink. C9 and 10 look pretty much the same, except for one shade different. But that's going to shade your, your flowers. I've wanted this kit for a long time, but I thought it was going to be on Black Ada. So I am very, very, very happy that um, it isn't. It's not Black Ada. So, got some beautiful colors. I hope it turns out as good as it it's looking here. But that's all the colors that come with it. So they're they're really pretty, and they're nice and shiny. I've found a couple that had that that shine thing like peeled off. You know, remember those kind of beads back? Go back a little bit. You know, back in the dark ages that you used to get plastic beads in the 60s, 70s, 80s, well, no, not 80s, basically 60s and 70s, and sometimes the the coating would be off, but these are pretty consistent. I've only found a few that were like that in the whole thing, and these are looking really good. They're all the same consistent size. That's why I buy from this store. I just absolutely love them. And they're so much lighter than um, if you have uh, than, than the Precocia beads, which are glass beads from Czechoslovakia. If you're doing something small, it's fine. But if you're doing something big, you want them to be fairly lightweight. Of course, they're going to have a little weight to them. Not much, but way lighter than the other. And there's the needles. It didn't come with any needle threaders. We have an escapee. I'll put him down there. So I only had one bead that fell out, so that, that's a pretty good thing. It comes with an instruction things on how to do your, your beading. I'm going to do a stitch along after this with this kit in particular. So I just want to get it everything back where it needs to be so I don't get everything screwed up. 
still haven't gotten the other um, what do you call them? Pre stamped that I ordered way earlier. I got a little seal there. It keeps it nice. This is the next picture that I got. And it's also a nine count because you have to have, you have to be able to compensate the size of the bead to the size of the fabric. So that's why it's a nine count. And this would be good for anybody. There's your, your pattern. Comes with another slick pattern. It's kind of a plastic shiny. Put that over there. There's the beads. And it also comes with another instruction book. But this would be good for anybody starting beaded cross stitch. And not all beaded cross stitch are alike because when you get to the glass beads, I've had beads that were five different sizes and I had 40 colors going. So, yeah. But nice instructions, and it, you want to keep going. I will explain more when I do the stitch along in one general direction because it makes the beads, you know, with your thread. And you only have to do a half cross. So you're only going through it and then down to the next corner, through it, down to the next corner. You don't have to make a cross stitch out of that. So that's lovely. It has 18 colors. Now, I got this one because my sister ordered the same one, and I wanted to be able to have it where um, I could see it as to what, you know, maybe she was asking me questions about. And this one's only a partial, um, and it has just the solid color symbol on the, the pattern that lists the colors, and... There's different symbols on this pa piece of paper than there are here. Does that make sense? So, number one is a slash mark. So, you would look for the slashes on this when you were looking for a color. If you were having an issue as to, is that the right color that I'm supposed to be using? But these symbols, way different than these symbols. These are just solid colors. And I find it a lot easier, you know, you're not, it doesn't look so chaotic, if you will. This one also came with a big old spool of thread. Now this one, um, as to the other one, it had the background all done. This does not have the background. This is just this picture. Oh, we are not going there. Hang on. Just rip that off. It'll be so much easier. Let's pull these colors out. And they're the same shiny. Oh, we got a hitchhiker. Got two hitchhikers. But beautiful colors. Just stunning. And they're bright and they're shiny. And yeah. These are the best plastic. And as far as I know, I, I've looked. Matryoshka Lovely Store is the only store at AliExpress that sells the plastic beads. Now, it's been a hot moment since I have uh, ordered any. So there may be other companies now. Look at all those greens and yellows. Get that out. Ooh, the purples. Look at that purple. There's about three or four shades of purple and about four shades of green. Got a dark red. But yeah, they are just absolutely lovely. Just lovely. And it gives a consistency to the whole thing. That's why I like it. it when I was doing the glass beaded ones, they were just sporadic and it didn't lay smooth. This, when you work on it, it'll be smooth. You know, all your beads will lay right in a line just the way they're supposed to. The others, 
I don't know. Maybe it's because I didn't spend enough on a kit. You know, I, I don't know. I, I think I was paying about $50 for, I mean, huge, gigantuous thing. And it just might not have been enough, you know, for the uh, quality of the beads. I don't know, but I couldn't see spending a hundred bucks because there are some there that are over in the hundreds of dollars. Done with the uh, Czech Precocia beads. Now, Czech Precocia are different. They're glass, and they're better quality. They're the best quality that you can get in glass beads. But some of the others, they don't have Precocia beads. And the, those precocious are pretty consistent because I have that for, um, it's the, um, my peacock. And those have been pretty spot on consistent size. I mean, more so than the others. And they were just, just horrible. I mean, I, it was a waste, total waste of money. I will use the the beads, you know, on all different projects or whatever, but for making the whole thing, I could not see it. So, yeah. So, you know, know what you're looking at and check. I would, if I was going to go with glass, I would go with Precocia. Make sure they have Precocia beads. Because if it just says glass beads, you're getting a hodgepodge. On something that you want to look really, really nice. I bet you I won't be able to get them all back in there. And this canvas, after you've finished, um, you're supposed to wash it. And all this printing and everything will go away as well. Just kind of like the, the pre-stamped cross-stitch. Okay, got that all in there. That was a hot moment, huh? All right, let me get this all together here. And I'll be back to start the other one. Be right back. All right, I am back. Now, I thought I'd start with this black, just so you could see what was going on. This number 14, we've established that. It's right there. And I took, let me show you another one. I couldn't get it open. They're kind of double sealed. So I went about right up against you know, where the Ziploc part of it is. And I just cut it right across. That gets rid of the, the double ceiling. Get that out of my way. And then you take this and you squish it between your fingers and kind of slide it. I can do it better on this one. Just kind of move it along. And it finally opens. See where it's open? But like that, and it pulls it, and it makes easy opening. And I have this little bitty glass thing. I don't know what it was used for. It's in a pond. Um, I got it at an antique, not an antique store, the thrift store for pennies. But I put my beads in it, and then I... I just pour out a little bit, and since these are nice Ziploc bags, we're just going to keep them in the bags, because heaven knows Laura didn't order any little containers to put them in. So, I have started my thread. It's double, doubled, and you put a bead on, and I'm going to go from this corner to this corner. Now, I have used uh, white DMC. Let me see if I can bring you in a little bit closer so we can see what's going on. Whoop, let me come this way a little bit. All right. So the next one is going to go right next to it. And we're going to keep going in the same direction. going to come down here. There is no sewing method to this, believe me. 
and don't get too long of a string as you can see well the, yeah it's starting to fray so if you want you can change out your thread for um dmc like b52 or if you were really finicky you can or whatever you can use the same colored thread as your um as the bead but you're not going to see this and these are big enough you can pick up in your finger unlike seed beads okay as we drop one this is why I just take my needle and pick it up out of the thing now I suppose I could go this way now I started at the bottom some people start at the top but I like to kind of work away. Some people say, I've heard, if you start at the top, you're not working over the work you've already done. I don't know. I haven't gotten far enough along on any of them that it would matter to me. I mean, I haven't had a, an issue at all. But just make sure your thread is pretty tight and it's going to give a little bit you know kind of like a silk thread but it's really strong strong thread it's not going to break on you but I don't get too long of a piece in case for some stupid reason it gets knotted and some people use just a single strand you could you can do that as well easier just to do that with your needle and this one isn't too big I'm just gonna do um, two rows here hang on just a second they remind me of poppet beads oh for pity's sake it's just as easy now you can put this in a lap, not a lap stand, a uh, a scroll if you you feel the desire. Now we're going to go up and back again. We're going to go back that way. So let's say you've finished the row. So we're just going to start in here. I want you to see what these beads look like next to each other. But they cover the canvas really well. But I'm still going in the same direction. You know with my thread I don't like this thread at all I'm gonna pause you for a moment because it bounces back you know while you're trying to get the next one the other one bounced back and it's just the nature of the thread so I'll be using um, some uh, B5200. 52, 5, Let me get a piece of that and you can see the difference. It's cotton instead of silk against silk. Do I have any right here? Oh, of course not. Be right back. All right, I'm back. So I found some Blanc. It says Blanc. It doesn't say B5200, but it's white. So I got it threaded. I got two strands of it. As usual. And 
works much better. It doesn't slide through the canvas like that that other stuff. It was all right when I was using um doing a great big huge canvas, but I just I don't know if I didn't know any better, but I like white DMC best. And it's just as strong. It's not going anywhere. These beads don't weigh very much. But as you can see, they sit right next to each other really well. I don't know. That's weird. All right, whatever. Strange. I'm just looking at this. Why is that like that? There is no white. So I don't know if you just leave that blank. Let me get the the pot in. Where is it? Hmm. Strange. Because it's calling for 14, but this pattern, as you can see, doesn't show that. Strange. Turn it this way. Make sure I got it going in the right general direction. But it doesn't show that the number 14 is all that back stitch, and everything is in Chinese. Hmm. That's weird. Okay. Well, we know the background's all black anyway. Whoops, I got the bead. Yeah, I'm notorious for putting two beads together at one time. Or putting one on the back. Because I didn't pull my thread up. But, and there's no white. So. We're just going to take it right up there. It's kind of weird, huh? Because there's no white around the outside. That's strange. Strange, strange. Alright, we're good. We're just going to make all this yellow the black. Or, well, I'm, I'm thinking it's black. It looks black in the picture. So yeah, we got like three inches of mushy snow. It's terribly wet. So I had to scoop that off the car, and part of it, like, when I came home last night, on my way home, it was, like, blowing snow, and it was all wet, and then it froze a little bit, but it wasn't too bad to scrape off. Thank goodness I wore my old shoes, because it was already starting to melt. There, and it just, terrible. So once you get across, now some people go all the way across, some people this way. I don't know. Haven't really decided. But I'm trying not to um piece of fuzz. Um what do I want to say? I'm brain dead today. It was just too much energy expounded. Um like go up there and do the browns and then do the reds or whatever. You want to do it in a row, you know, up. So, let's say you're you're down here where it has purple, and then it has a blue, and then some more purple or whatever. Just set it, your beads, both those colors out so you know that you're going to have to use those next. And just do it in a line. That's the only way I've seen. I have personally gone and done the browns and, you know, no. Because then you're moving the bead to try to figure out what what color goes there. If you just go in a line, everything goes well. And I don't have any of my little containers out. But I have little containers that are about as big around as that. 
and they're about that big and they have a screw top they must be in with my other beading stuff and they work beautifully I think they're like fourteen fifteen dollars at Amazon you can get them there I don't know um, if you can get them from one two three stitch I, I don't believe so but you know stranger stuff has come along so I don't know but they sit real nice and you never see that thread you know because you're going to be looking at the picture you know when it's flat you're looking at it straight on so you'll never see the the thread but just keep your your thread what do you call it uh pulled not tight tight but you know just so it disappears you know what i'm saying i hope but, yeah, this is addicting. I could just sit there and do this all day. And it's real relaxing. It's kind of like doing slow motion diamond painting, if you will. Because you have to do one bead at a time. But they all get sewed on and they're really strong and right where they need to be. And since it's 11 count, it covers a lot of area faster than cross-stitching sometimes. Now, they have all different kinds of beading things. One store I absolutely hate is all about Embroidery USA on Amazon. That was the worst kit I've ever bought. And I paid twice as much for it. It, it was terrible. It was on a silk material. I have a few of those on silk material, but they're far better quality. And I don't really care for the silk because when you're pulling these threads and trying to get these beads down, it makes the um, material kind of cinch, if you will. That's what I hate about that silky, satiny material. But... Yeah, and I like this. It, they go on canvas, and the canvas is not going to move on you. You can pull it as tight as you want, you know, that you think you need to pull. And it doesn't ever give. It does not ever give. And it goes slow. You know, but it's not meant to go fast. But the end result is just absolutely stunning. Just stunning. I like the way it looks and everything about it. Pretty much. And it's a little bit easier to hold in your hands. Now, some people have put these in Q-snaps. Go for it. I can't ever, my hands are not strong enough. And as you can see, I did not crinkle this fabric because it's easier for the beads to lay down. You don't, you're not going to get a chance to iron anything out. Does that make sense? Um, because you can't put heat to these or they'll melt. So just keep that in mind. And that's why I like the, the stiff fabric. Now, you can, of course, roll it, you know, this way. Or, you know, to put it away or to keep it safe. You don't want to get it wet. Just saying. Because your pattern will go away in a heartbeat. And you kind of want that, that pattern. I mean, I like it just because it's there and just like pre-stamped cross-stitch. It stays nice. All right, guys. So I'm almost up there. But you can see how fast, you know, you cover things. Now, let's say you started here and you're not real happy with starting at the bottom. 
you can go up here at the top and just start again. Just make sure you're going in the same direction because that way your beads will all lay consistently. So you can start wherever you want. How's that? Whatever works for you. I have seen people, you know, start anywhere. There's no stitchy police. Do it whatever feels comfortable with you. You know, if you're comfortable with it, then just go with the flow. I wanted to get up here so that I could start some of the It's not that the needle won't go through. I just couldn't find the hole. That's just the way I am. Just cannot get it some days. And this is a nice size to hang on to. Now, I have seen people take this and they, they fold it and then put the beads on, you know, as they're going. I don't know. I just lay it flat and just do the, put the beads on. And this, like I said, isn't too big of a piece, so it's not so cumbersome, you know. Oh, I almost just did a cross stitch. I've been doing cross stitch too long. But this is real easy to do. Really nice. And you have a nice finished product project in the end, you know. I'm trying to get up here. And then I'll have to go get that. Color. And it is going to be number eight. And that way you can see two beads together and what they look like. All right. And you know, when I started this, I'd like, let's say I finished off this black. I would finish off my thread. It's like, what are you doing? You know, because you've been doing it for so long. You know, with cross stitch, you know, you finish one color, so you put it away. I gotta get my pouch open. Oh, I'm telling you. Yeah, these pouches. Now, if you want, you can do like you do diamond paintings. You can put these all in little containers and not have to mess with this. I'm just using this for, you know, instruction. Okay, we need number eight. Find number eight. Seven, four, three, one... Of course, you can't find it right off the bat. Number eight. Oh, for pity's sake. Four, ten, one, seven, two, six, three. There we go. There's number eight. Okay, so we need number eight and we need light purple, which is number two. I just saw that. So we're going to get out those two. There'll be a hot moment. Hang in there, guys. So this is number eight. See how easy that, did? I just pulled it with my fingers and it came right undone. I'm trying to keep it light. So that's the dark purple in there. So I'm just gonna pour 
just a few. And number two. Come on, come on. There we go. It comes right undone if you slide it with your finger. Oop, we don't need that pink one in there. Let's not, not. Just gonna get a few. Okay, so, whoops, sorry. Hit the thing. Okay, so number eight, we have them right here in front of us. So number eight is the light color. And it's that red-violet color. Move the scissors before we stab ourselves. We've got two there. And then right above it, because I didn't get going on a, a full line, we need the darker blue, which is number two. But see, if you have two colors out, then you don't have to stop and get that. Just set them out there. And I just leave the bags out because they got the numbers on them. That, that's not going to wear off for a while. Okay, we need a dark, I mean, uh, the dark purple one, which is number eight. And I need the light purple, which is number two. So you can see that you can see it and see what color comes next. I had to get my thread undone. Now we're going to start over here on this line. And it's. Nope. We need a number two. Now some people put these things in those little snap. There's like a whole case and it has like room, like squared out things that you can pour all the beads into and they have them numbered. So they just open up the whole case and they know which bead is what. That has worked well. Now there was a lady working on beaded cross stitch and she had I don't know 50 some colors but she had an entire case and it was just separated out and then the whole lid would cover all the beads when you put it away and uh, that way she could just pick out which which one she wanted so you know you you learn your own uh, storage system of these things. Okay, dark. So that is how you do this. All right. So see, and though that's got to be black right down there. So I'm going to have to, let me see. See, I'm doing it again in my brain. I think I have to get rid of the thread. Hang on. Just a hot moment. Put those in there before I forget what I'm doing. Oh, for please sake. I might run into some blacks. Just get a few of those out. Put that away before you spill it because they'll go everywhere. Oops, I forgot to turn down my computer. And that way you can see a consistency.
And if you don't like how it looks, take it out and do it again. I mean, you know, it, it's very forgiving. I, I don't know how else to explain it. And simple and easy. I just wanted to make sure I had all the, the colors filled in so you could see just how it looks. Let me bring you down. Whoop. And move you over just a bit. Whoop. Nothing's cooperating. Sorry. So you can see how that'll all go in, but it's easier doing it line for line. Now, I know I started here. It, me, I've done this before, so it, it doesn't matter, but for just to keep you from getting confused or whatever, just do it consistently line by line. Now, see, turquoise is going to work its way in, so we'd need to get out number seven, and that way when we're coming across, we can pick out, you know, those. I hope all that makes sense. All right, guys, well, I think that's going to be it for today. Hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. And that way you will know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands. God bless and we will see you tomorrow. Keep stitching. Bye-bye.